My name is Diego Chavez Henneco. Uh, I am originally from Bogota, Colombia. I came to Pittsburgh uh, 22 years ago. I am a pediatrician and one of my goals in my career is to give back to the community to the best that I can do for others. In 2002, I came with the idea to start Salud para Niños. Salud para Niños is the two words in Spanish for health for the children. Salud is an acronym for uh, students, residents, fellows, faculty, and Latinos United Against Health Disparities. So the goal for Salud para Niños is to address barriers that children might have to have access to healthcare access, and by addressing these barriers, to fight against health disparities, to address health disparities. The state and the federal government have some programs where families can qualify for health insurance, but applying for those programs are very cumbersome. One of the things that I did when I first started my program in 2002 was I actually went through the process of applying for health insurance if I had a child at the time. And I remember thinking, this is really difficult. This is like doing taxes. And I understand how come families can do it. So it's not unusual to find kids who for some reason they don't have uh, health insurance or they don't have health care access. And we're happy to address those barriers. My wish list for the future would be to see that all kids in Pennsylvania have health insurance, that we care more about each other as a community, as a country, as a human race. When I was starting the clinic, I realized that the hospital had this new mobile unit. It's a truck, and inside the truck, they created two exam rooms and a waiting room. It was donated to Children's Hospital by the Ronald McDonald Charities. And in 2002, I met the people who were running the program, and I asked them if they would be considered working with me and if they would be willing to come. At that time, our free clinic was based on the Salvation Army. It was a very little room where there was one bathroom, two exam tables, and the exam table was divided by a curtain. And it was just me. The pediatric clinic was just me. So it just happened to be that the day to day came, it was very busy. We have over 20 families there, over 20 kids. There were people waiting outside, and they said there was no way that we wouldn't say no to you. This is the Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh, Ronald McDonald Care Mobile. We have been using the Care Mobile for about 18 years since the inception of the program of Salud para Niños. Every patient that we see in the truck is through free care. Nobody who is being seen in the truck is going to get any bill from the care that is being provided. We take the truck to different locations around the city and around the region. Right now we're offering a free clinic every Tuesday morning with the help of the truck and in partnership with Casa San Jose. And once a month we go to the Birmingham clinic and we take the truck as well. The truck has an electronic medical record that is the same electronic medical record that we use in our clinic in Oakland. So when the patients are seen in the free care mobile and then later on they get insurance, we can see them in Oakland and it's going to be the same doctor, the same electronic medical record with a loss of continuity. It's comprehensive care, families get the medical visit, but we also put a lot of emphasis in prevention, injury prevention, dental prevention, and the idea is to provide comprehensive health care for the well-being of all the children in southwestern Pennsylvania. My grandfather was a physician, my mother was a physician. Growing up back in Colombia, I saw my mother doing similar things, providing care for the people who needed the most. There is a story that I tell a lot. We just have come from a trip in the United States. We came for vacation and I had bought a nice pair of sneakers and I was so happy with my sneakers. And I was probably in high school and I come back home and I see that there is one sneaker that is missing. And I asked my mom, what happened with my sneakers? And my mom said, well, I had to take care of somebody who actually had a leg amputated and didn't even have a shoe for the, for the leg that it was not amputated. And now this person doesn't even have a foot, a leg. Uh, I wanted to give him the best for the leg that I had left. And I decided that that was your shoes. And of course, you can imagine as a teenager, I was not that happy, but I also started me to, to realize what it matters in life. What it matters in life was not those pair of sneakers or the shoes, it was the legs of that other person who no longer had one of them. So one of the things that I do, what I do is probably because of my mom example and my dad example, they both were very invested in caring for others and making sure that that was the most important thing. I always have felt that Pittsburgh is a city with all the great things that a big city can offer, theater, sports, science, academics, without the big problems that the big cities have. So Pittsburgh has given me a lot of wonderful things, including my family now. I married somebody who grew up here in Pittsburgh, and my son was born here in Pittsburgh, and I have wonderful friends, and my career is here in Pittsburgh. I'm very grateful to the city, to the region, and to the country. It's so easy to make general statements about a big group of people that you don't know. Uh, but when you know one person of that group, 
uh, is very different what you think about it. So sometimes people make statements about Latinos do this, or Latinos are this, or Latinos are that, or undocumented people are this, undocumented that, people are that. But when you know that person, oh, but that person, this is Juan or Jorge who does my loan, or this is Dr. Diego who takes care of my kids. When you know that person, things might change your perspective. It's so easy to make generalizations, um, but a lot of times those generalizations are not true, so it's better to think about that person. And hopefully when we think of that person, we can, think our, we can change our hearts and we can change our minds. It provides me with a lot of satisfaction when I get invitations of kids telling me, I'm graduating from high school, I want you to attend my high school graduation. Or when somebody shares with me, guess what, I was just accepted to college and I'm the first generation in my family to go to college. And even more when some of these kids now grown ups, now working, now having jobs, having careers, they come to me and say, you know what, I want you to be the pediatrician of my kids. And that's probably one of the best things that anybody can receive. I feel that it's an honor and it's a privilege to be a pediatrician of somebody. So when you have been my patient, now you're trusting me with your child, that tells a lot about my work and I feel you know, very satisfied about that. Este país tiene muchas oportunidades, tiene cosas muy lindas, eh, pero no por eso debemos olvidar los valores de nuestros países. En Latinoamérica, eh, en Sudamérica, en Colombia, hay muchos valores que nos inculcaron nuestras familias y la idea es que las dos culturas, los dos países, los dos semicontinentes, tienen cualidades muy buenas y lo que hay que buscar es lo mejor de las dos culturas y con eso ser lo mejor que uno puede ser. The relationship that grown-ups have is different than the relationship that you have with kids. You cannot pretend to a child, you cannot lie to a child, they get you. So you have to be completely honest, completely sincere with a child. But while that is very true in pediatrics, that's very true we work with children, actually the most important person that you have to be honest, that you cannot lie to, is to yourselves. Whenever you think about what you want to do, think about what you love, think about where your passion is. If you love, if you're passionate about what you do, you're going to be successful. And the rest of the things, they're going to come secondary. The path is long and it's not always straight. So things might take us in different ways and being flexible and being willing to change your mind, that might help. You know, I, I came for one year, 22 years ago, not even dreaming that I was going to make my life here. Um, and here I am and I'm, I'm very grateful, I'm very happy and I feel very blessed. Um, and you know, if I have to resume everything with two words, it will be thank you. Gracias.